Today we're going to be talking about getting started as a wedding photographer. I've got an amazing panelist of photographers hanging out with me. I'm going to give everybody a second to introduce themselves. Uh, my name is Evan Chung and I'm a wedding photographer. I'm based out of the San Francisco Bay Area, primarily shooting weddings and portrait work since about 2007. Hey everyone, I'm Laura Greer. I am a wedding and events, also travel photographer based out of Los Angeles. I've been shooting weddings since 2000 and I specialize in destination weddings as well. So I've shot weddings on six continents and um, I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Hey guys, uh, thanks for having me. I'm humbled and honored to be part of this crew. Um, I am based out of Reno, so pretty close to some of you guys. And um, I travel all over the world, but I'm a wedding and commercial photographer. And uh, luckily throughout, uh, well, luckily through COVID, I was able to do way, way more commercial work than weddings. And now weddings are picking up. So I feel like we're getting back in our groove. Hey guys, I'm Amanda Whitegiver. And I am also so appreciative to be in this panel. I am based in Maine and I've been shooting weddings as part of my business since about the same time, about like 2003, I think I shot my first wedding. So the first question I have for you guys today is how did you book your first shoot? And uh, what was the experience like? It's weird, dude. I, cause I was shooting on my own like, like way before 2007. And, and then in 2007, I was like, hey, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna make it official. And so then the first client who's gonna pay me money and it's not just art, it's not just street work, it's not just portraits for the heck of it. And that was just, it was just messy. Like it was like a friend, right? And I'm shooting their wedding and they're like, hey, it's gonna be great. I'm like, yeah, it is, holy crap. Um, and it was just messy. And so the first thing I did was, um, no, not, not um, make a contract and <laughs> make sure that I was covering my own butt. It was uh, actually get someone else who knows weddings to come and shoot with me because with an experience in the studio, great. Doesn't really translate to weddings <laughs> all the time. With an experience just doing portrait work, maybe some experience over to weddings. Um, it just doesn't always translate well. So there's so much that I felt like I didn't understand. So I brought on a friend of mine um named eric and he's been he'd been shooting weddings for 20 years prior to me um and so brought him in a uh, good friend of mine learned from the best and did that for the first three weddings that i shot and basically just uh booked these things and <laughs> became the second shooter for him at these events because i knew it just ne it needed to happen right it, it kind of happened for me a little bit backwards i had a little bit demand to shoot before I had really booked the experience that I knew I needed for that kind of stuff. Um, and like the technical stuff was there. It was, it was all the, the stuff that needed to happen for, for weddings specifically. What was the nature of how a wedding goes down? What are the key shots? What's the timing? What do you got to make that, that, uh, that shot that you don't get a second try at? So all of that needed to not happen on the fly. It needed to happen with the experience. So I started booking weddings just kind of because people knew I was a photographer. Um, it was it was that age, like I was the last couple of years of college and I was majoring in photography at the um, art school, Main College of Art um, in Portland. And the people that I knew, my coworkers, friends, like some of them were getting married and they were just like, oh, you do photography. What, <laughs> can you shoot the wedding? And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> and um, there I was with like, you know, maybe like six years of actual shooting experience, like sports and art photography for college and um, running in there with like a, you know, shooting 36 exposure rolls of film on a fully manual camera <laughs> um, with a flash. And it was, you know, I, I, some of the images, I'm just like, wow, good thing I was new and I didn't charge these people very much money when I was getting started because you're, you know, that's, it was, it was what it was. I mean, also film photography was what people expected for weddings back then. Still, it was pretty standard. Um, at least in Maine. And um, so it was kind of wild. I just went in and um, just shot really fast. Like my thumb would be tired after like 
seven hours because I'm like cranking those rolls through and I chew like 10 or 12 rolls. And that was how many pictures people got. <laughs> like pull out the ones that didn't look good and like, here you go. <laughs> so different these days. <laughs> Um, so when I first started, um, I was a massage therapist, bought a camera, kind of that just like momtographer, but dadtographer thing. And I, um, wanted to make money. So actually the first thing I did when I became a photographer or when I bought a camera was I reached out to five different wedding photographers in my area who were like the people, right? Um, sadly, they all in one way or another told me to drop dead. They were like, you didn't go to school for photography. Uh, you just bought a camera. How dare you try to come into our world? And so then I was like, cool, photographers are evil. They're done. It's, it's, I'm on my own. Um, so I did what any business owner back then used to do. Um, I put an ad on Craigslist. And so, um, which I haven't been on Craigslist in a while, but I was there and I tried to sell something. And now they're charging like five, 10 bucks a post. Like, go back to your roots, bro. So the wedding that I shot was actually a, uh, was a, was a, a, a lesbian wedding, was a gay couple. And um, I, you know, didn't know anything about it. It was at a small little Arch of Reno um, chapel. Anything you guys know about Vegas and Reno, it was that. And their wedding reception was at a Chinese buffet um, where we didn't actually even book it. We just went to the back room with 20 people. <laughs> they brought a cake with their faces on it. Um, it's funny now because, well, the couple's not married anymore. Um, and I actually shot one of the brides again years later, actually two years ago, and she's married to a man now. So um, it's a whole, you know, I booked two weddings out of this, which was awesome. But I mean, that wedding, like I was all playing with Photoshop. I didn't know how to pose anybody. I did it the way that I recommend nobody shoot a wedding. Don't go in there blind. I didn't have a flash. I didn't have any, I just didn't know what I was doing. I was shooting with a, you know, a $500 Sony camera and I tilted everything. Um, all my shots were just tilted. Like I couldn't walk. And I feel like that's what we did. And then of course, decolorization. I made the ties red. Uh, the ties were blue, but I made them red in Photoshop because I was like, I like red. Um, but yeah, that was my first wedding and uh, like 13 years ago. Oh man, that was good. On the oh spot. my God, I'm literally laughing so hard. <laughs> so good. You said so many crazy, interesting things, but for some reason, the one that I'm focused on the most is massage therapist. Oh really? Probably because <laughs> you need a massage. <laughs> there we go. Oh All right, or, what do you got for? Can we come back to wow. that? Wow, my face hurts. I'm laughing. Um, okay, so I actually went to school for commercial photojournalism at Syracuse, but back in the day, I was shooting film, and when I, I moved out to Los Angeles, I, I mean, I thought that, you know, everyone was like, you have to get into celebrity portraiture. That was like the it all end all. So I just felt like I needed, you know, I was doing red carpet events. I was shooting for like a celebrity headshot studio, and so a lot of actors and stuff were coming in, and they were basically saying to us, like, do you guys shoot weddings? And we were kind of like, well, I don't know. We don't really, I, I, we don't know. I'm like, yes, we say yes. We're going to say yes. So we just started saying yes to people. And then we we're like, oh, crap, how do we shoot a wedding? You know? And so I kind of was like their assistant. And back then, there were like no female wedding photographers. Everyone was like, oh, whose assistant are you? You know, and I was actually an assistant back then. But um, we were doing like celebrity weddings and I was terrified. A, it was film. I remember I loaded the medium format film backwards one time where it didn't expose any of the exposures during the family portrait. It's like stuff like that can happen. I would have like anxiety dreams every night before a wedding because like so many things could go wrong. But, and we were shooting like Larry King's wedding, rest in peace. Like we were shooting like Tisha Campbell and Jolie Fisher and like all these people. And I just was like out of my league, like, like terrified how to deal with celebrities like am I going to screw this up and but I will say that that was such a great experience because I learned everything about like how to deal with clients and how to you know like deal with the lab and how to edit and like all this stuff so it was really great to kind of get that confidence and experience by working for somebody else first and then on my own I had all this amazing portraiture once I was ready to kind of go out on my own and and weddings you know under my belt that I could use in my portfolio, but also I shot my sister's weddings. Like I, you know, my first two major weddings that I booked were my sister's weddings and they both got married in Europe. And so that was kind of what helped launch me doing destination weddings um, was that because it's like, you got to start somewhere and they don't know that you're doing it for free. And so that was, that was it. That's how I got started. So what I'm gathering is trial by fire from everybody is what yeah. it sounds like, right? So much fire. <laughs> so, so much, much fire. fire. Yeah. <laughs> 